Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your energy. And this morning, I wanna to talk to you about something that's uh, pretty vulnerable for me, personally, in the sense that I'm gonna open up myself to you and talk about something that I do every single day that sometimes scares some people. Sometimes you get a lot of judgment for it because we're living in interesting times. And this is about my dedication to prayer and why I pray. Uh, spiritually, that's probably just between me and God, and I believe that is always just between us and God. But the physiology and the neurochemistry, now that's something we can share, and then we can go where we want to with that information. So this morning, I wanna share with you two things. Number one, I pray twice a day, every morning and every night before bed. And I have for a long, long, long time. It's, it's helped me in immeasurable ways. But over the last few years, I've become super excited and really, really inspired about rededicating myself every single day. And I say rededicating, it's like I have to go in to get the greatest amount of benefit from prayer with a renewed dedication every single time. Because what research is telling us about the power of prayer, there's literally over 12,000 studies that have been done on the power of prayer. Everything from lengthening our life, helping us to create a stronger immune system, actually helping us with success. But here's what's super cool about what we're learning about prayer is that there's two types of prayer. There's a prayer when you're just kind of like, okay, God or universe or Buddha or Allah, or Muhammad, whoever, you're to, whoever you pray to, the universe, um, <laughs> you can just passively pray. And it's kind of like when I was a little boy, I used to pray like, oh, please, God, if you get me out of this mess that I've created, Oh, I promise to be a good boy. <laughs> it was like it was like treating God and the universe, uh, you know, the higher the higher being as like a vending machine. I'll I'll do something for you if you do something for me. And, and here's here's the thing that I want you to know about how science is now connecting with prayer in this really really powerful way. What we're learning is that when we pray, we should pray in an affirmative way. We should pray in a way that we literally, when we're praying, we, we, we envision the prayer happening, the answer to prayer. And then when we're done praying, we start moving in the direction, like being a sermon who's living what it is that we're hoping to be creating through the power of our prayer. And if it's like peace, then how do we get up from prayer and go out in the world and live up to peace? Because what we're knowing is that yes, Prayer moves parts of our brain. It, it, it enlightens parts of our brain. It also quiets other parts of our brain that are associated with fear and, and distance and uh, lack of compassion for ourselves and others. But what really, really makes prayer powerful is when you're after you're done praying, you literally live as if. You start doing the deep work that you were praying for. And we know Literally, the mind, the brain is literally transforming with prayer and after prayer. So you can call it meditation. You can call it mindfulness. You can call it sitting still. You can call it just, hey, I'm doing my connection time with my heart, and then I move my feet in the direction of what I'd love to be experiencing. 12,000 studies, all of them being deemed by the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, as absolutely wonderful, powerful, uh, scientifically valid, true studies, but prayer isn't passive. That's also what the NIH says, is that prayer does a lot of really cool things to us physiologically, but it also can do things for us on a manifestation level and even deepen that physiological success and power and inspiration and enlightenment, literally, when we move in the direction of what it is that we're hoping to create. Prayer is the beginning and then we move on purpose. This creates a one-two experience where we ask for it, we live up to it, and then we embody it. Whew, don't you love that idea? So let us not get too <laughs> overly confined to who it is. Let us get dedicated to what it is, and then we go from there to create what it is that we love, more of what it is that makes us come alive. Here we are living in the earth school, getting a chance to be our, our spiritual experience and bring it into manifestation here on the physical plane. It's a beautiful opportunity to rise, and, to rise and shine and be everything we came here to be. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.